Riley is wearing 24. Brown, number one, and Tucker, number 12. And it is Union that will uh, bring it in front court. Let's see what Alice Lloyd decides to do defensively against this big quick team. Gonna play that right to the ball. Straight man to man. Three pointer, no good. Riley haul up to get it, and we got it out of bounds. It'll go to ALC. Good block out by Shane Hall. The freshman center blocked him out, but they got a hand on it, slapped it out of bounds. Union comes with a little 1 2 1 1 defensive pressure all over the court. Chris, about near mid-court, balances the floor. 15 seconds to go on the shot clock. Down low to Hall. He spins, goes up. John Puck won't go. Good look from the big guy. Almost a steal by Lasoy. Tiller got a hand on it. Couldn't hold on to it. Long three, newbie no. Back up and in by Riley. Riley, Riley from Hopkinsville. You may remember uh, seeing him yeah, in the I state remember. tournament. To nothing, uh, Alice Lloyd facing the zone, thrown up right now by Union. Union. Alice Lloyd comes in at one and one. Union one and zero oh on the season. They did lose an exhibition game to Eastern Kentucky. Rogers to the basket, and he'll be fouled. He'll go to the line. I believe that was on Newby. Well, you were right. Alice Lloyd taking it inside. <laughs> Alice Lloyd on top, or at least on the board, now trailing two to one. Boy Rogers, the big guy, got a soft touch both at the free throw line and outside the arc. Alice Floyd trying to press, but I tell you what, a very, very quick Union basketball team. Three-pointer, that's Tucker. Good. Well, you could not back off and let guys shoot that wide open. Tucker, the transfer from Virginia. Really surprised, 3-2 zone thrown up by Union. They try to go down low, poked away. Newby got a hand on that, and now they alley-oop at Bad Pies. That was way off, had no chance to grab that ball and throw it down. Tiller for three now. Boy, this is inline to inline racehorse basketball. Well, they knew that was gonna happen. Put up an end, boy. Well, they're just manhandling Alice Lloyd inside on both ends of the floor right Shane now. Shane Hall's got to play tougher than that. Uh, Jones just all over him, and now another turnover. Boy, trying those diagonal passes, uh, they don't work. Three-pointer good by... Riley. Riley by Tucker. Riley and Tucker, Tucker with two three-point baskets, and already we see that this young man can play some basketball. Alice Lloyd takes a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. And, uh, boy, it's just a matter of the fact that Alice Lloyd is, is a step slow on both ends of the floor right now. They look more than a step slow. <laughs> but they're going to learn speed of this game, Drummond. You cannot make any diagonal passes against a team with the quickness and, and athleticism that Union possesses because it's going to be going the other way. The only place I have ever seen a diagonal pass work is in middle school basketball. Yeah, and and and, <laughs> and, and sometimes it don't work. It there. don't work there most of the time. You're right. Time they'll go to a little two-two-one pressure. Boy, they changing it up defensively almost every time down court. Long looping pass is just not going to get it done. Stumbo, they throw it away again. Stumbo gets it back. To Tiller. Now Chris drives baseline. A little runner in the lane won't go. And out it's of out of bounds. It'll That's go right. to Union. It's a 
easy to see why this team is ranked seventh in the country in the NAIA. Turn around jump shot by Jones was no good. Alice Floyd yet to have a field goal. Down inside, Hall forced it up, no good, but he'll go to the line. It's on number 31. I don't believe we have a black 31. In fact, I know we don't have I think that is Dewberry. He said 31, and there is no 31 on the court. Right now, they're going to they're going to call for the official to come over. Corey Shelton. But he's not in the game. Oh, okay. Well, that's what he said was 31. Well, they re yeah, they corrected it. They're going to have to. They're blowing the horn, trying, trying to get the attention of the official. And now they will. He's going to ask him, now, who did you say? I and think the foul oh, should have been on 53. They're going to stick Jones. I know there was no 31 in the game. Who did they end up calling it on? 34, Jones. Jones may or may not have been the culprit. I'm not, I don't I, know. I thought it was 53. He was the only man inside. Alice Lloyd comes to try to double team, and they're just going to shoot layups against that. There's a shot blocked by Hall. Crisp the other way in a hurry, but Union's back. Alice Lloyd needs a field goal. There's another bad pass. Stumbo just has blocked from behind by Roger. Back-to-back -back blocks, and now Tiller leaves it off Chris, but now Stumbo for three. There you go. Got to get the crowd up. Stepped into a three, and we're going to time out on the floor. 15.47 to go. We're in the first, and it is 10-7 in favor of Union. You're watching Alice Lloyd College Basketball Live here on Hometown 24. <laughs> Alice Lloyd has run off five in a row, and they've cut the eight-point lead to three. Here's Harold. Try to apply a little pressure in the backcourt. Brown will work it out. Bring it in front court down the lane. Offensive foul on Brown. Out of control. Stumbo there to take the charge. Stumbo waited all day for that one. And I didn't think the officials were going to call it. They were very slow making the call. Well, there was no way that he get to the basket. It was blocked anyway. Rogers up there to block it. Chris brings it in front court and threw it away. No need to make the pass there and he threw it low at the big guy's feet. Somebody just really had no chance to get that. Alice Lloyd continuing to play man to man. Long three, Brown, no. Tiller up to get it. Tiller in a hurry, threw it away. Alice Lloyd just turning the ball over in bunches. Brown the other way. I believe they're going to count that one, and the foul's going to be on uh, Stumbo. He got there too late. They got two free throws, but I thought the ball went in. It did go in. We're going to give him two they, shots. Are we the only one that saw that? <laughs> now they're going to reset. They say no. Quite obviously, the ball went in. How can you have three referees and nobody see the ball go in the basket? How is that humanly possible in today's game? Simple. No one was watching. They'll come together and realizing the only one's looking like a fool here on them. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> How can three people not see the ball go in the basket? 
Well, the guy that made the call, I, I could understand him not seeing it, but you got two officials out here. What are they doing? And what are they doing? That's exactly right. Everybody in the building except the stripes know that the ball went in. That don't know the ball went in the basket of the referees. And let's see what they're going to do. They're going to give him two shots. And now the coach, and I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. And the longer they, the longer they, the longer they, they keep from making a decision, the worse it looks. And there's no way you can talk your way out of this one. <laughs> I mean, the ball went in the basket, and the only people that did not see it are the three referees. Unbelievable. And they're going to give him two shots. And it is two. And you talk about your <laughs> pass interference and in football right here. Make well, happen. That's Wipe that one out. I've seen it tonight. <laughs> Unbelievable. So what should I'm have been Coach Burton friend. down here. I'm, I'm having me one more hissy fit. And probably he didn't see it go in himself or he would have would be. Well, it should have been a three-point play. Ends up one point ends for you. Ends up one point. That may come, put, a, put an X by that play because it may come back to haunt him. Alice Lloyd is Warren into the, the lineup for Alice Lloyd right now. Got to take care of the basketball. Chris down the lane with a little runner to the goal. Two-point ball game. Boy, they are so quick. And we got a block this call on good call. Shane Hall. Now this time the ball did not go in the basket. I think that was simply, I'm sorry, I missed the last call. call. I'm still. <laughs> that, that, it, it's actually funny. I, I am still utterly blown away, amazed by the fact that three referees on the floor and not, no one saw the ball go in the basket. When that, the film will go to the KIAC or the AEAC. I don't know. It's not a conference game. I don't know. But the NAIA might might want to look at this four point game as both free throws are good Warren in for Stumbo they break the press Warren gets it off oh, and they'll get first throw down of the night we saw Warren come in the other night and spark this team and he's already done it tonight Tucker won't go. First miss of the night for him. Warren leads the break for the Eagles. Underneath Hall. Good. Boy, he got hammered and no call was made. Run out the other one. We got a foul. Coach Hammond said, Coach Hammond said, what about my man down here? I, I, <laughs> He gets knocked to the floor, and <laughs> they go to the other end, and they get a cheap foul call on Alice Lloyd. Well, I wouldn't call it a cheap one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're tied at 13. Going to the line will be Newby. The foul was on Rodgers. That's his first. T.L. Jones into the lineup for... No, he is not in the lineup. Number 20, Dalton Whitney into the lineup from Bowling Green. Rodgers goes baseline, and he got fouled. Didn't think they were going to call that another late whistle. It's going to be Brian Jones picking up the foul. Good 
Good crowd on hand for this one. Combs up off the bench for Alice Lloyd, and he's going to give Chris a break. Alice Lloyd could get their first lead here if Rogers could make the free throw. And he does. Big guy, four out of four from the line. Rogers, big guy from Lexington, has given his Eagles a one-point lead. Student body here at Alice Lloyd. Vocal support back the other way. Brown short jumper won't go. Newby got the offensive glass and he missed it. Jones missed it. Newby put it in. And the foul is going to be on Hall, and I believe that's two on Hall. Boy, just so strong. Went back up and put it in and took Hall with him, and Hall does get his second failure. Right? Boy, Union looks to be so much stronger than uh, Hall and Rogers. They get off the floor well. They leap good, but, boy, they are getting pushed around a little bit. Newbie good. For Alice Lloyd, we heard the coach talk about this guy. Mason Pack, a 6'9 junior from Marlboro, West Virginia. Mingo Central High School. Boy, Harold, lest we forget, thanks to all the veterans out there watching tonight. Without yes. them, we would not be here doing this. Rogers open along the baseline. Rogers drives, throws it up, no good. Didn't get that prayer answered. Well, you could not. Jones, three-pointer good. Boy, he's just a good shooter outside. And just like that, after Alice Floyd got their first lead, they're now down by five, six in a row by Union. Stumbo back up off the bench for Alice Lloyd underneath, and we got Walker. That was a good Rogers. call. I can't complain about that call. He thought someone's behind him, tried to back into him, and just went to the floor. Stumbo in, and Rogers is out. New people for Union. Lonnie Smith from Birmingham, Alabama, number 23 into the lineup. So with Hall and Rogers on the bench, Alice Lloyd has got much smaller and a foul in backcourt on Trevor Combs. Foul going to be on Combs, 33. Boy, coaches hate to see those fouls in backcourt, don't they? Really no reason for it, Harold, and that's, that's what coaches tell players all the time. Boy, Jones just whipped Mason Pack pretty big. 22-15, and Union's starting to stretch it out a little bit. Warren inside Pack, wiped away by Newby Jones, blocked out of bounds by Tiller. Pack just simply did not go up strong. He should have been up and thrown it down. He's trying to shoot a layup and got it blocked. Timeout on the floor with 11.37 to go. First half, it is Union 22, Alice Lloyd 15. We'll be back in a minute on Hometown 24. After taking a one-point lead, Alice Lloyd suddenly sees herself down by seven. 8-0 run by Union. Bad pass, but saved, and Riley missed the shot, got it back, put it up no good, and put up an end by Smith. Boy, Alice Boy, Lloyd gets whipped bad on the board. Number 40, Norwood into the lineup for Alice Lloyd. There's Dumbo for three, no good. Long rebound, Chris picks it up off the floor. 
Nice pass inside by Norwood Pack that simply dropped it. And we got a foul. This one's going to go against Union. I believe on Smith. Well, they called that on 23, and he, he was not close to the play. The foul should have been on 24, but they call it on 23. 6'5", senior from Birmingham, Lonnie Smith. Here goes pressure in the backcourt. Chris back in the ball game. Norwood cross court to Warren, and he walked. Made a great move, but got an extra step to do it with. Jones back, Smith will leave, alias Smith and Jones. <laughs> a good one. <laughs> Give and go, Riley in front court, down the lane, leave it off, newbie, good. Count in and a foul. Foul's going to be on pack. And boy, since the two big guys, Rallis Lloyds, went to the bench, Hall and Rogers, been a bad day. Rogers comes back and back will leave. 26 15. This thing has ballooned out to an 11 point lead. Twenty-seven fifty. Alice Lloyd went up fifteen to fourteen, and I don't know if they've got a shot off since in there. Rogers backing down, fires it up, good. May have got away with a little bit of stroll. You don't see many of them caught inside anymore. Shot no good, put back up, no good, tipped it up good, Riley. Boy, Boy that was Lloyd. Lloyd. Gotta get on the boards. They are getting soundly whipped on the boards right up now. Up on the bench, up off the bench comes Tiller. Nobody blocking out for the Eagle. Another turnover. Tiller in and Norwood will leave. There are a lot of good things about Norwood, Harold, but his first game, I'm sure he's got a lot of butterflies. Elizabethton, Tennessee. 6'4", sophomore, Zach Norwood. Newby, this is the man, the center, that brings it up and goes down the lane and lays it in. Right now, Union getting all their points inside and getting them easy. 31-17, and Alice Lloyd on the verge of getting a knockout punch right here. And another turnover. Stumbo. Couldn't hold on. We got timeout on the floor. Full timeout, Alice Lloyd, 9-20. They're down 14. We'll be back in one minute. Hometown 24. Alice Lloyd in a lot of trouble right now, Harold. They got to get some points. They got to get them quick because you're right. Uh, this They've is been about to get out of hand. 17 to 2. Pretty nice run put together right here. Trevor Combs back into the ball game for Alice Lloyd. Deep three out of the left corner, Riley good. Boy, they just getting whatever they want right now, Harold. 20 to two, the run. <laughs> Warren's shot was ugly. Never got above the rim. Cal 
got the basket. Offensive basket or defensive basket interference on Rodgers. Or as they used to say in the old days, go team. And the run continues. Now 22 to 2. And Alice Lloyd looks worn out. I can understand that. Boy, you cannot make diagonal passes against quick athletes. Twenty-four to two, the run is, and he's going to have to get Shane Isle back in the game. And what I started I out as a night of already, hope is certainly. I think it might already be too late. Turned out to be anything but that. Tiller for three, no good. Rebound underneath. Combs battles for it. Tiller gets it back. Goes down the lane, lays it nice in. Look. That ends the drought. Now down inside, going to be on stumble. Hall will come back at 7.34. Well, this team does nothing wrong. I had a lot of props coming in here, and I'm not seeing anything that'll knock them down. T.J. Jones back. He's a freshman, uh, sorry, a senior from Spartanburg. 40 to 19, 21 point Union College lead. Killer thought about a three, that has it stripped uh -oh. away. And the shot put up no good, battled for it, taken down and coming out from out of bounds to get the basketball. We'll give it over to Alice Lloyd. Union heard footsteps there. After a great defensive play, they go down to miss the bunny and Alice Lloyd gets it back after the turnover by Union. It's a foul on Warren. And Coach J.R. Hammond's not at all happy with that call. Forty to nineteen. Alice Lloyd getting worn out right here at their home gym by a very good Union College team. Paul got a hand on that shot, blocked it. That little extra hop won't get it done against athletes like this. Well, you cannot put the ball down in the paint. Newby no, and the ball off out of bounds. Three Alice Lloyd Eagles there, and goes out of bounds. <laughs> 40 to nine, at one point Alice Lloyd led 15 to 14. 26 to two, now 29 to two the run. 29 to four. To four, excuse me, as Brown hits a three-pointer. <laughs> Rogers. Oh, missed the shot, but it's jammed back in by Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, 
Boy, this team does everything well. Union just getting any kind of look at Walsh right now, Drum. Ball out of bounds. Stays with Alice Floyd. 22 on the shot clock. Newby is back. Smith will leave. Got a timeout on the floor. Five under six media timeout. 45 21. Back in one minute. Hometown 24. Four-point lead for Union College. Dallas Floyd will inbound with 22 on the shot clock. They scored 45 points. And we still got five minutes and 25 seconds to go until halftime. Boy, they play a lot of players and just in and out and keeping fresh legs out there. And you're right, Harold. You said just a minute ago, they're getting what they want offensively. Tiller thought about a three, goes down the lane, and offensive foul. Take the basket away. Can't complain about that call, Harold. He just simply ran over. Jones back. Riley leaves for Union. Alice Floyd trying to apply a little pressure, pick up the pace of the game, but I tell you, pace is something Union... Likes, there's a ball almost turned over, and now Tucker for three, no, but Jones is that block. They reset the shot clock, and I don't really think they should have. The ball was blocked, was it not? I never did see it hit the bucket. Doesn't matter. Another turnover. They just cannot make those lazy diagonal passes. They just will not get to the intended mark. And now Tucker missed the shot. And Tiller like blew a shooting. <laughs> and we got a foul on the Hall. And that's going to be three free throws and three fouls on Hall. Here we go. <laughs> that silly rule. And <laughs> I know you should be talking about it. 48 21. <laughs> well, 
they let Stumbo come in. I, they let Stumbo come in for Hall. Now they let Smith come in for Newby. Maybe that's no doubt court. the worst rule ever put in this great game. I've been trying to figure out for why, years. The why purpose. does it matter? <laughs> they say it's to speed up the game, and it does nothing but slow her down, my friend. Rogers, Rogers gets and fouled. he got bailed out big time. Fifty to twenty-one, and this thing got ugly in about a ten-minute and about a seven-minute stretch. Alice Wood got their first lead at 15 to 14, and it's been all Union College since. Boy, quickly they get it in front court and walking. to Norwood and back to Chris a little give and go and uh, best offensive set that Alice Floyd is running a while that yeah, while you're up three no good Down underneath, nice pass, and Rodgers will catch in. Two good Bye. sets in a row for the Eagles, Harold. Finally, Alice Lloyd gets a couple of buckets in concession. The bad news, they're still down 24. Yeah, real bad. Blocked by Rodgers. Let's see if they can get three buckets in a row. Underneath, Rodgers. Nobody will go to the line. Rogers, five out of six on the night. Boy, Union just runs them in and out. Newby and Riley coming back. Smith and Brown to the pan. Well, the NAIA and uh, Division Two basketball already started. The big boys get underway in a couple of days. Season opens up Friday night. Kentucky tips off at 7 o'clock. Vanderbilt, with their own Cameron Justice, tips off at 8. Are they on the... Uh, uh, they're ESPNU is what I understand. ESPNU... And we got a jump ball. Alice Lloyd showing a little life. Where was this at eight minutes ago? So uh, Vanderbilt plays on ESPNU Friday That's night. That's what Raymond said. I'm taking talk to actor Cameron Stad. He told me today that he thought it was on ESPNU, but it is on ESPN somewhere. And Cameron is Kentucky had plays on SEC Network. I think so. Which is ESPN. Well, yeah. Six one half dozen of the other, right? Fifty to twenty eight with two twenty three to go. Rogers 
to the basket, and Rogers made a couple of really, really nice plays in the last couple of minutes, Trump. Got the defender up in the air and just did a reverse layup. That was Floyd having a hard time getting the ball out, off the backboard. Battle inside, we got a run out. Norwood has it stripped away. Chris put it in. Eagles showing some life late in the first half here. The biggest deficit was, I think, 28. They got it down to 18. Then a little housekeeping. Uh, of course, they very hot in here right now. Humidity is high. Players all over the floor. That has been a rim protector. He has got several blocks. Uh, probably played better than any Eagle tonight. Steal by the turnover. Team. Warren knocks it away. Rogers comes up with him and then a half to go. Alice Warren can make a game out of this with a couple of more buckets. They really can but you cannot make that pass from well, mid-court diagonally to they the left-hand corner will not go against this kind they of They got quick. bailed out there. <laughs> 15 on the shot clock. Chris was calling for a screen. Now go down the lane and scoops it home. Nice move. Leads at 16, 16 from 28 to 16. And Alice Roy to get it back with 56 seconds to go. Boy, the crowd over there helped that referee a lot on that call. Well, he had a, you know, he needed to get a little help over there. You're right. <laughs> Norwood in front court to Warren. Boy, Rogers has keyed this comeback for Alice Lloyd. He's a tired young man, but he has played well. He has. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Dumbo walked, walked with it as he tried to get it inside to Rogers. And if they wouldn't even think about making a comeback in this game, they got to quit silly mistakes like that. Newbie to rally and back to Brown. No. And a foul is going to be on Riley 24. Boy, he just cleared out. Rode Stumbo to the floor, and Stumbo will go down and shoot. And we're going to have shots coming off. up. You're right. So with 24 seconds to go, and Alice Lloyd back in the game, now down by 16. And a chance to come up with a couple of more. You got Chris doing a little uh, housework over there underneath the basket down to our right. Alice Lloyd would keep all their players back, and I don't know about this on one and one. Never did like that, that they have nobody in there to rebound. Stumbo, no. If you have nobody there, you've got no chance of it. Shot clock is up. 12 seconds, little running jump, and just 
Rogers gets it away. Six seconds, a lot of time. Rogers, and he is fouled as he goes for the dunk with 2.6 seconds. Chris had a layup hurl, decided not to take it, and it threw it a little bit too high for even for Rogers. And Rogers luckily got fouled on the play, and he'll shoot two. Coach Burden not happy with his team. They didn't handle the running jump very well, did he? No, they did not. Rogers good. The Eagles look like they were dead in the water, and they've cut it back to 50. They have not scored in the last four minutes. Has Union. Brown, no good at the buzzer. We reached halftime with Union after being on top by 28. Find themselves their lead cut in half. They lead only by 14 at halftime. Good job by the Eagles, and, and uh, they did it defensively, Harold. Surprisingly, they did it defensively. Created some turnovers, got some runouts, got a couple of nice moves inside by the big guy Rogers. Made some foul shots down the stretch, and they're right back in this basketball game. Yes, they are. 50 to 36, and we'll be back. You're watching Hometown 24. Killer. And likewise for Union, Newby is out there with Jones. Brown, Riley, and Tur Tucker. And, and Union will have the basketball to start second half. And Still waiting for the clock to reset, and they're going to stop it and reset it at 20 minutes, so, so we're ready to go. Alice Floyd opens in the zone, trying to protect Big Hall inside, I would imagine. Brown for three out of the corner, and that's a good beginning for Union. Not what Alice Lloyd wanted. Boy, Hall's got to convert that when he gets it at point yeah, blank range. Yeah, point blank, and he didn't come close to me. And here comes Union, five straight points to open a half. And the 14-point lead is bloomed back to 19, just like that. a turnover. Nobody blew a whistle. Well, these guys have struggled at times tonight. So we're going to give the ball back to Ellis Lloyd. We have five seconds on the shot clock and <laughs> So sure Union the coach of Union is saying, what have I done to you guys? <laughs> well, he's got five seconds on the shot clock. You're going to have to do something. They'll get a look from Rogers. No. Alice Lloyd not reacting, going to the board, and the ball goes out of bounds back to Union. A drought to begin the half by Alice Lloyd. Not what they needed. No, not at all. I've well, got, got Paul on another foul, and I don't think he, anything he could have done there to keep from fouling, unless he'd have run out in the lobby, and they maybe would have got him out there as well. Probably. They were going to make that call regardless of what happened. This is this has not been a strong crew, would you say? Not at all. <laughs> Two blatant misses. 
both of them going against Union on the basket in the first half and the foul. They didn't count it. And now Alice Lloyd throws it in the back court. And they get together and decide that somebody tipped the basketball. Not. And they get paid pretty good for these games. Six oh run start to have Glades back at twenty. Warren back for Hall. He picks up his fourth foul and when Mid Hall went out half. in the first half, it was not a joy to watch, was it? Well, they said he had a great game over the weekend here. Blocked by Newby. Warren in front court for the Eagles. Now to Tiller down the lane. Tiller, good, and a foul. Alice Lloyd continue to go to the basket. That's the way they got back in this game at the end of the first half. Norwood will come back for Alice Lloyd, 6'4", sophomore from Elizabethan, Tennessee. Stumbo will have a seat. Tiller completes the three-point play. There's a steal, Norwood back up inside, Miss the layup. Boy, you cannot make plays and like fouls that. And Fowles trying to get it back. Wow. Made a great defensive play and couldn't convert. A little give and go, and here goes Riley. Lays it in. Not much Rogers could do about that. Got him on his heel, but just put it up with the left hand. And a Chris turnover. Chris lost it out of bounds. Well, this team is lightning quick. Riley just goes around Norwood in the corner to Brown. Baseline, he walked. And we've lost the scoreboard again. And the scoreboard has gone out. Second time tonight, the scoreboard has went on the blink. Got it rather quickly the first time. This time they're having trouble with it. So they'll take both teams to the bench. Let's take a 60 second break and we'll be back. Alice Lloyd Union on Hometown 24. So we're back, scoreboard is fixed and Alice Lloyd has the basketball and they need some points. 20 point lead, 59 to 39. Tiller has been one, the, one of the players for Alice Lloyd as they turn it over and Tiller blocks it from behind. Tiller has been one of the players, Norwood lays it in, that has been able to play athletically with this bunch. He's, a, he's just a true athlete. Outstanding basketball and football player at Paintsville High School. Now, fellow Warren. 
never ceases to amaze me. I thought Tiller hammered the union player going to the basket a minute ago, no call, and then they call a hand check. Tucker on Chris lays it in. Boy, Tucker is some kind of player. Ellis Lloyd, not very big right now with the exception of Rogers in the middle, and he's got it now, goes up to get it, dropped it, picked it back up, lost it. Coming out there with it is no one yet. Finally, a Union has a three-on-one break. And Newby lays it in, and it looks like that Rogers Roger. is shaking up. Pack will come in for him. Didn't see exactly what happened to Rogers, but he looked to be in a lot of pain when he went off. Well, he just fell back and landed on his backside, Harold, and uh, he was holding on to his left hip, it appeared to be. I believe he's got a bad cramp. They're, they're trying to stretch him out down there. Norwood, Warren, good. Got the foul into the teeth of the defense and able to come away with a... <laughs> That's over and back. <laughs> or so they say. Well, I, technically he was over and back, but I thought he got kind of got knocked over and back. <laughs> Good break for the ball was <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Pack, jump shot, good. Big guy didn't play well in the first half, but gets a bucket here to be early in the second. And another steal. Warren will take it in and lay it in. Well, I tell you what, Warren is fighting for a starting position, and he's He's doing it the right way. Offensive foul. Look like Newby got the the foul. No, it was 12 Tucker. Tucker was nowhere near that play. It was the big guy, 53, who ran over Chris inside. Now we got a timeout on the floor. 14.51 remaining, 63.47. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Lloyd has once again got it to 16 points, Harold, and it's been good defense, and it's been sparked by DeAndre Warren. Warren and I think Tiller have, have played really hard, hard nose, and, and look like they fit in in a game like this. Boy, can you imagine having to face a backfield with Trevor Tiller and... Cash Daniels in the backfield. Tiller gets through, lays it in. Nice move, Tiller. And Alice Lloyd back within 14. Here's another steal. And we're going to have a jump ball, and Tiller once again really Alice Lloyd. igniting this team defensively. Boy, I like Union's coach. He never says a word, just looks out on the floor, but... I, I know that he thought he ought to got a foul there, and I thought he should have got one too, but break for the Eagles. They get the ball back. Alice Lloyd a chance to cut it to 12 or maybe even 11. Warren will go in back legal. court and That's get it. Legal. Chris with a runner. That Boys, he, he had Norwood going to the basket, and I, I don't guess he just didn't see it. 
Knocked out of bounds by Pack. Boy, Burton starting to get a little bit upset. Yeah, he got. Pack got away with a major foul there. Nice inbound play. play there. <laughs> Riley off the curl into down the lane. Nobody home, and he laid it in. Pack for three out of the left corner. Pack with five points here in the second half. And he's played big coming in for Rogers. Pretty pass, one, two, three, and drop it in, and back to a 15-point game. Peck really calling for the ball, gets it along the baseline, lost it. Boy, he got pushed out off the block and didn't make the call. Here's a run out for Alice Lloyd. Norwood blocked by Newby. Boy, he you gotta go it. into his body there, Drum. You gotta uh, take yeah. Newby out. Newby back the other way, jumper, no good. Warren Battle can't get it. Put up and in by Brown. Timeout Union. Lead is 17, 13.03 to go. We'll be back in 60 seconds. A chance to listen to Coach Burton there, Harold, and uh Pretty sound advice what he did during the halftime there. Obviously, he thinks Mason Pack can shoot the rock. He well, said, he make him put it on, on the, the floor. floor. And do not let him get open. Don't let him stand still, shoot the ball. And stop 11, he said. No matter what you do, stop 11. Cross court, Combs for three, no. Oh, and Alice Lloyd didn't block out again. Second and chance it points. Up. They have killed him tonight, haven't they? And it's back to 19. Norwood came out during the break, replaced by Trevor Combs. Now Norwood's still no, in Norwood's there. in there. Three Warren for left. Pack, no good. Warren was the one that left. Run out the other way. Chris takes it to the basket, lays it in. Play nice move, showed him the basketball, made him stop, then put it up with the right hand. Warren will come back. Boy, newbie for a big guy can handle the rock, can't he? And his steps will be called on you. Rogers coming back and Pack will leave. Warren comes back and Norwood will leave. And we've got another timeout on the floor. 11.36 remaining, 71-54, Union leads. We'll be back in one minute. 11.36 remaining in the basketball game. 71-54, Alice Lloyd with the basketball. I think they got it to 13 one time here in the half, but... It's back out to 17 right now. They come back with Crisp and Combs and Tiller. Rogers and Warren. Nice play! Wow. Warren give and go, and Rogers with a two-hand slam. I believe Alice Lloyd is leading in dunks anyway, aren't he? I think so, yeah. Ooh. Foul on Tiller. That is his second, team's fourth. <laughs> Union 
every man handles it well, every man shoots it well, every man jumps well, and now for three, Brown, no, rebound Rogers. Solid basketball tip. Head to Chris. Inside Rogers, drop step to the hole, lost it. Combs got it back, now Chris, down low to Warren, giving go, blocked by Newby. Taylor got the cleanest block I've seen all night long, and the official comes out of the corner, across the floor, calls a foul, and that was all basketball. <laughs> A.J. Tucker, or J.D. Tucker to the line. Well, that really takes a lot out of the sales when you make a great defensive play like that and then get penalized for it by an official who was out of position to make the cup. Well, a couple of free throws, and Newby will leave as Smith comes back. I'm Harold Mullins, drum throwing very alongside as... You're watching Alice Lloyd College basketball live here on Hometown 24. Tiller, bullet pass, and Warren couldn't hold on to it. It's again turnovers that they can ill afford to make. Tiller's coming out of the lineup. Boy, he plays hard, doesn't he? Norwood comes back in. Here goes Tucker. Bodies all over the floor, but Al Floyd's heading the other way. Chris Warren down underneath, and he is fouled. I believe that was Brown guilty of it. And they're not going to give him any shots. It's going to be Are Newby and Riley back. Whitney and Smith will leave. Final 10 minutes of this one halfway through the second half. Alice Lloyd, after falling down by many 28 has cut it and has actually played pretty good basketball for the last 15 minutes of the game. Underneath Rogers, no good. Run out and that's too long. Jones can't come down with it. One of the few turnovers Union has had tonight. Chris Combs, three, no. Underneath, Warren comes up with a steal. He'll lead the break, he'll go all the way, and instead of trying to go ahead and lay it in, he tries a wraparound pass to Rogers and knocked out of bounds. He's going to throw it to Rogers, throw it up. Let the big guy throw it down. That he, he said try to wrap around pass and throws it out of bounds. Ball knocked out of bounds. They say Tiller touched it last. New rule, they just have six seconds to get it in front court, but that's no problem for you. And John uh, fouled out of the game. Well, that didn't take long as Shane's got to learn how to play defense without fouling. Rodgers will come back. 
And I always had a less than stellar night, wouldn't you say? Do you not think he scored, did he? Yeah, he got a dunk early. Dunk early, that's right. Miss free throw, one of the few things Union's done wrong tonight. Tucker will come back. Norwood with a rebound after the missed free throw. Now Tiller rapidly in front court. Tiller down the lane. Boy, Tiller's got some hop. He does. Walking, and that's a good call. So Union making turnovers and missing free throws, allowing Alice Lloyd to hang around for just a while longer. No football game Friday night as all of our local teams are on the road that we can cover. What is our next action? Mr. Thacker will tell us here in a second. We'll find that out for you. Pites a long tiller, long three, no. Rebound down underneath, off the foot of Union and out of bounds. Dallas Lloyd men's play here Tuesday night, next Tuesday night. Who do they play next Tuesday night? No more basketball games till December the 4th. Then we will open up with some uh, high school games, Prairie County Central and Hazard. Not County, some of the games in December will believe you playing June Buchanan and Letcher Central Phelps. Warren missed the point blank range. Hazard in Knock County, Hazard in Buckhorn. Not in Breathed. And what do we got? So we got some uh, games coming up on the high school level. And I'm sure we'll be Rogers. adding to those games as we go along as we... Uh, Finalize our schedule for the year, 73 to 58. One and one for Union. Jones, first time he's been into the game in the second half, he started the game. Ryan Jones, 6'5", senior from Port Ritchie, Florida. For a piece from home? Yes, he is. <laughs> but he's living his dream. He's playing college basketball. Boy, Union is, has really recruited nationwide. Played in the NAIA championship Got a kid on the other team from uh, Dewberry, from uh, Berkeley, Michigan, Danville, Virginia, Hopkinsville, Birmingham, two on the team from Los Angeles, California, Spartanburg, uh, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, Canonapolis, North Carolina, so they have uh, pretty much a uh, program with long arms. Seven forty-one, and the runner goes. And once again, uh, Rogers. Rogers is down with that cramp. It'll be Pack that's going to have to come into the game to take Rogers' place. Coach J.R. Hammond's on his way out to check on him. Went out a little earlier with a cramp. Al 
Dallas Lloyd running out of time. Rogers is up. This kid's had a heck of a ball game tonight. Boy, he is cramping up really bad, too. Very the Dallas Lloyd game, uh, ball with 7.36 to go, down by 19. Is it that time they start looking at some threes? Say Alice Lloyd plays at home next Tuesday night and on the I road next so. Thursday. I do know they're on the road next Thursday with it. Wilbur Force. That was an alley-oop to Tiller. He couldn't convert that back the other way. Riley down the lane. Drop it off. And Newby lost it. Coming away with his Norwood. Alice Lloyd turns it over again. Tucker for three, no good. Pack to, has the rebound knocked away. Newby has it stripped away. Boy, 22 on the <laughs> shot clock. Coach Burton says reset it. Three and a foul. Foul is on Pack and a chance for the rare four point play. And that might have done it. Six thirty eight remaining, Union by twenty two. I've had con uh, really conflicting stories about uh, the tearing down of this gym. I was under the impression they were going to tear it down immediately following the conclusion of this year and then start building from the back to the front. But according my impressions when I talked to Coach Hammond was that they would be playing in here next year. Might be. I'm not sure. I, I heard the same thing that they were going to start tearing it down. And Tiller down the lane, and Tiller missed the shot, but he'll go to the line. Six oh six remaining. The lead has grown to twenty five again. Tiller's shot is good as Combs comes back for ALC. Warren will leave. This team played in the national championships last year, Harrell, and played very well, and I can see why. Not in the championship game, but in the national tournament. National tournament, yeah. What do they think, 32 teams? I think it's 36, isn't it? Uh, that's uh, a lot. lot. Maybe, it, that's a lot, you're right. 64, maybe. I it may be 64, to be honest. I, I really don't know. But I know it's a lot, and Walken called on Union. We got a timeout on the floor. 5.55 remaining, 83.60. Union leads Alice Lloyd. We'll be back in one minute. Welcome We're back here at the Grady Nut Athletic Complex. Harold Mullins along with Drum Thornsbury as we count down to the end of this one, Alice Lloyd down by 23, made a little bit of a run, got it as close as 13, but just too good is Union, and that in it pretty much sums it up. Sums it up, pretty good. Where are those chair back seats when you need? Crisp for three, that's not even close, an air ball out of bounds. While the crowd is left or are leaving, 
Newby has it knocked away by Combs. And now they kick it away to Tucker. Combs to Chris. Tiller for three, no. Chris will run it down in the corner. Tiller is most effective drum when he can get it in the paint. Boy, Tucker just challenges the big guy, Pack, and gets the bucket and the foul. Tucker, the transfer from Virginia, fires it up and in. This guy's got to be uh, in the running for our conference team, I'm sure, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would think so. Tiller again, no. Pack tips it, no. More when you're 6'9", you got to go up there and throw that ball down when you get up inside like that. And we got a foul in the backcourt on Tucker. It's only five team fouls, so no shots upcoming. Timeout on the floor. 86-62. We'll be back in one minute. Hometown 24. Four fifty-two remaining in this one. It is eighty-six sixty-two. Now Alice Lloyd got down big, made a run, but her just couldn't sustain it. I would imagine that uh, Union very much uh, favored in the conference, wouldn't you think? I would think so. Well, they're a nice ball club. Tiller trying to go underneath to Norwood, threw it out of bounds. I think Norwood is expecting that pass there. He went in like he was going to block out for the rebound. He just shot over his head. Alice Floyd, aggressive man-to-man. -man. Union, for the most part, has played a zone, a sagging zone. But their quickness has absolutely given Alice Floyd fits. Four seconds on the shot clock. Runner, no good. Tip, no good. And we got a foul underneath. That's going to be on Union. Only 16 fouls, so... Shots coming after this for Alice Lloyd. Final four minutes of this one. Packs open, no good. And it'll stay with Alice Lloyd. Rogers going to try it again. Combs kicks it out, and now a three no good by Norwood. Newby. Well, a few times we've seen Newby miss the shot. Crisp underneath lays it in. Nice job passing there for Combs. It's Tiller back. Boy, this floor is. Slick as a river. Just give and go and an easy basket for Tucker. Tiller, short, tipped up, no good. Up again, no good. Newbie comes away with it. I tell you, you got to give Tiller credit. He plays hard, don't he? He does play hard.
Tucker lays it in. Boy, Tucker is so smooth. Well, he just beat him to the hole and got him on his hip and put it in. Crisp. And Union kind of mailed it in defensively that time. Well, the coach takes no prisoners, does he? <laughs> he takes no prisoners. Tucker. In and out, no good. And a foul on Chris. Rodgers and Warren will come back after the first free throw. And we get hotel substitutions both ways. Whitney into the ball game. Bowling Green, he's been in a couple of times earlier. Now Jones can come in. minutes to go. Alice Lloyd, interior passing has not been overly sharp. Chris with a runner and a teardrop in the lane. Call a foul on 23. That is Lonnie Smith, 6'5", senior from Birmingham, Alabama. Hello. Minute 37 to go. We got foul shots coming up. No good. Combs goes down heavily. And now there's a turnover. Warren comes up with it ahead to Chris as he tries alley up to Rogers. That ball is knocked out of bounds. And Lance Barkley, a 6'5 freshman from Lexington. Did he play at Tate's Creek High School? I am not sure. What was the name again? Barkley. Sounds right. Lance Barkley, 6'5", freshman from Lexington. A minute 15 to go. we got some foul shots coming up. Joined us earlier, it was Union Girls defeating Alice Lloyd by three. As Rogers gets a couple of free throws. 92 to 70. 75 seconds left in this one. Oh, what a great and tip a in nice there. Play. Nice. What a nice tip in by Nick Riley. 6-1 from Hopkinsville. He went up and tipped that ball in. He's had a good game tonight. Tiller almost lost it. Now gets it back out. Combs will try a three. Good. Trevor Combs with his first points of the night.
34 seconds. Seventeen on the shot clock. Union with this one safely salted away. Blakely down the lane now pulls up and shot, short jump shot won't go. Thirteen seconds. Warren lost it. And now Combs takes it away. They were waiting. Now the jump shot is good by Trevor Combs. I don't know what this was, that the end was all about, but at any rate, the final score, 94 to 75, as Union comes on the road to Alice Lloyd and defeats the Eagles handedly. They do, and uh, well, this is a great, good basketball team. They just had Alice Lloyd frustrated early with their speed and created a lot of turnovers early, and uh, Alice Lloyd got down big, made a run at the end of the second half, but. Boy, good teams do. Union did what good teams do. They come out second half, scored seven in a row, and uh, that was that. And Alice Lloyd now will go on the road next week. I know they go to Wilberforce, but at any rate, they still got a few games to work out the kinks before we get into conference play. And it should be interesting when he gets in the KIC. Yeah, this team's going to get better. There's no doubt about that. Uh, a lot of talent on the floor, and uh, it's just a matter of them getting together and uh, and, and gelling, and they're going to be a good basketball team. So a uh, sweep for Union. They win the girls' game by three and the men's game by 19. So A minute break, and we'll be back. Alice Lloyd loses at home to Union 94-75. to 75. 